and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have no eyebrows on at the moment, which is completely weird. I feel like I look so unusual because this is not what I'm used to. But basically, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my eyebrow tutorial. This is my eyebrow tutorial I use every single day. Um, obviously, if I'm not wearing makeup, I won't put my brows on like this, but if I am, this is how I do it. So I don't really use too many products. Obviously, if you watch my previous videos, you can see that this is the product that I use for my eyebrows. So it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Now mine is in the shade Chocolate. I've almost run out, as you can see, <laughs> but I'm just trying to use the rest of it up. So it's just this medium kind of brown color, and it's perfect if you have similar colored hair to mine. Obviously, if you have blonde hair, you wouldn't go as dark, but this is just the color that I like. I also use this angled brush. Now, this is a brush by Models Prefer. I've had this for quite a few years, to be honest with you. I got it from Priceline a while ago. I don't think they sell the same brush anymore, but any angled brush is fine. Now, before I do apply the dip brow to my eyebrows, I always, always have to brush them through. Now, I use these things here. They're just mascara ones. You can buy them from anywhere, really. I bought mine from Priceline. You can buy them on eBay for really cheap as well. I just brush them through to get rid of any excess foundation or powder that's left in my eyebrows. I find that because I do do my foundation and powder and everything before my eyebrows, it sometimes gets stuck in there. But that's just how I like to do it. Also to kind of give them the shape before I fill them in. Alright, so let's just go ahead and fill them in. I'm just starting from this point of my brow, just to kind of get the arch right first. I do overdraw this arch just a little bit more than it is naturally, just because my eyebrows are quite thin. And then I'll just draw them right down to the end of the tail. And then I'll start from the same kind of spot, just underneath my brow. So as you can see, I've done the outer part of my brow. It's quite full. And the inner part of my brow, we're going to leave a little bit more natural looking. So I'm not going to grab any more product onto my brush. And whatever's kind of with the leftovers, I'm just going to be really light-handed. Like, I'm talking hardly even touching. And just fill that in really really lightly and you want to make sure that when you're filling this in a part of the brow that you can still see the hairs quite noticeably and then we're just going to blend it all out. You can be a little bit heavy handed if it needs to be blended out a bit more. But I'm super light handed when it comes to the inner part of my brow. Just because I feel like it looks so much more natural if you are. If you're going to be heavy handed your brow is just going to be look super super fake and not natural at all. Now I forgot to mention earlier that I do use a clear brow gel to set my eyebrows in place. This is the Anastasia clear brow gel. So I'm just going to brush them upwards just to set them in place. Just like that. Every single time after I do do my eyebrows, I always highlight my brow bone. So what I'm going to use today is my NARS Albatross highlighter. And I'm just going to use the Lux Brow Light Brush from Zoeva. It's just kind of got this tip to it, so it's a really easy brush to apply a brow highlight. So I'm just going to grab a bit of that and apply it underneath my brow bone. I'm not going to apply too much, but just a little bit. I just feel like it makes a huge difference and makes your brow stand out a lot more. It also sometimes covers any hairs that you haven't waxed or plucked out, which is why I love it a lot because sometimes you do get a little bit lazy with those things. Now I am going to move on to my other brow and I'm just going to speed through it just because I did talk you guys through it already.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my brow routine and you learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like or a comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!